Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you another knife from Tucson Knives. As you probably know if you are following my channel for some time I really like uh, this brand. Uh, they are one of the many uh, Chinese brands out there uh, that give you a really really good value for your money and they uh, they are still innovating every single month they're producing new designs and that is uh, something completely uh, unique uh, uh, maybe also uh, something that comes uh, closer to them is probably we they also have uh, lots of lots of uh, designs out there so uh, but this will be the TS 85 uh, brown and brown stands for my carta so I have did take out uh, the knife from this baggie which is uh, oiled up and like all Tusa knives come uh, preserved so that uh, there is no rust uh, build up uh, anywhere on your knife just keep that in mind and you have to uh, clean your knife after you are taking out of the box. Okay, so this one is a Josh Wojtko uh, design. This is his maker's mark. And Tucson is also unique in this regard that uh, they're producing um, uh, mainly uh, collaborations they have uh, a few in-house uh, designers like night morning but uh, usually they uh, they produce uh, collaboration designs from different knife designers so you can you can get a really unique knife every time Okay, so the quick specs are, we have a overall length of 19 centimeters or 7.48 inches. The blade length is uh, 8.4 centimeters or 3.31 inch. The handle length is 11.4 or 4.49 inches. The blade thickness is 3.8 millimeters or 0.15 inches. We have a satin belt finished D2 blade and uh, linen and micarta which i call it the, the chinese micarta uh, scales this design was previously also uh, with uh, available with uh, g10 we have still a black g10 backspacer right there and i'm really happy to see the new deep carry loop over or fold over uh, pocket clip there are also two more, uh, let's say in budget, lower budget, uh, under $50 um, price range, nice from Tucson that have my carta, which is the, the TS132 and TS27. I do not own these uh, two designs just because uh, they have uh, just a really bad um, black, um, so... Uh, just a stamped uh, pocket clip which is a really really um, bad pocket clip if you want to to edc carry the knife if you want it just for for your collection then just go for it but i probably will wait i have uh, i have written to sun a few times that uh, they should implement uh, some changes in their old uh, variants all models and put uh, this pocket clip on the next batch and uh, that will be a much much better usable knife so like always we have a kvt ceramic ball bearing uh, pivot system or ball bearing washers how we like to call it so this is really nice and smooth this design has a nice pronounced flipper which opens quite easily every time the knife the weight is 160 grams or 5.64 ounces let me show you the 
pocket profile. Oh, you know what? Let me grab the, the old style pocket clip to show you the difference. So on this uh, TS47 G10 version is the probably the original uh, stamped band pocket clip they are using on or they have used on the lower tier lower priced knives and it is it is stainless steel it is really oh, really uh, hard to bend probably because it is heat treated I'm not sure about that but let me check So no, this is not uh, steel. Hmm. Aluminium I mean, is probably not either because it's really hard to bend. And maybe titanium. Maybe titanium. TC4 titanium. Who knows? But yeah, this is the old design. This is the new design. So uh, miles, miles better. Okay, so this is the pocket profile. Just a little portion here will stick out. This model has also uh, better hardware. So these are the new screws they are using. They are really, really nice. I would uh, like to see they uh, use uh, flush screws there, but uh, this will give you enough uh, enough space to to use it with jeans or with uh, cargo pants or all different sorts of um, thicker fabric. Yeah. So if you have a large hand, uh, this is probably something that will um, maybe fit you a little bit awkwardly. Uh, I can fit it without problems. I have an excellent large hand, but but uh, the design is uh, so that you can fit it also in a larger, smaller hand. We have a really nice cheap foot blade, so this is. This is good for uh, EDC tasks. Like I said really, really nice and smooth. Now, uh, centering of the blade is almost perfect. And the knife is nice and sharp out of the box. So now let me uh, show you some size comparisons. So every time I share a Tucson, I am putting in the picture the Tucson 111, which is in my opinion a excellent one of the best designs that have came out. And I'm just waiting to they release a my Carta version of it. There, they were recently uh, released uh, a S9 TV version, so this is the, the cheaper one in D2. Large Griptilian from Benchmade, small Griptilian from Benchmade. Spider Co. Endura, Spyderco Delica, two excellent EDC options, Kershaw Skyline, this is the Bug Vantage Pro in Esther TV, excellent option if you like American made Esther TV. Go check it out. Another budget offering the K Bar Dozier, also excellent knife. Kershaw Shuffle 2, 
yet another excellent knife on the budget and also quite a few functions on it and I have here also my old and first so spider co bird Kara uh, Kara in stainless steel okay so this was the Tucson TS85 brown in my carta uh, pricing on these they go for $33.99 uh, I will put the link uh, down below uh, I bought this one directly from Aliexpress um, if you want uh, to try your luck out you can also uh, check out uh, the eBay listings uh, uh, sometimes they have also this on offering and maybe you can uh, save up uh, few dollars but also I highly recommend to check regularly their Aliexpress uh, store because uh, they will offer you uh, discounts uh, at some point so you can uh, buy it even cheaper and you don't have to wait on on uh, the bidding okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions please leave comments down below I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can and if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I try to release at least three videos per week. Sometimes I, I can do it, sometimes I not, but usually I stick to the regular uh, schedule. So Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. So uh, yeah, mostly knife and gear oriented, but also sometimes unboxings of tools and hobby stuff like Warhammer books and stuff uh, relating to, uh, to this whole a uh, hobby of mine. Okay, so thanks for watching and wish you a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye